Hello, friends. Dmitry Mikhailov here, also known as Izida. Today's video will be in a somewhat different format. We'll be looking at battles on our plane against each of the opposing nations. Our plane for this video will be the P-63A-10 King Cobra, equipped with four Browning machine guns and a 37mm cannon. This is a Rank 3 vehicle. Well, let's begin. Germany. Our first opponent will be the Luftwaffe, whose main fighters are the Messerschmitt and the focke Wolf. For the first phase of the battle, we're able to gain approximately the same altitude as our opponent, and that means no one has the advantage. It could all come down to a head-on attack at a height. But the King Cobra has complex shell flight ballistics, so head-on attacks were often avoided. For successful evasion, we need a speed a little higher than 400 kilometers per hour. Right now, the battle is staying at low altitudes due to the cloudy weather, which is more advantageous to us than to the German aircraft. With a 1,800 horsepower engine, we're able to steadily catch up to our German equivalents. A dogfight with German forces on a King Cobra is acceptable but risky. Our parameters are practically identical, and the result depends on pilots' skills. Now you'll see a situation in which an enemy Focke Wolf has a higher speed than me. Making a half roll in advance, he wants to attack from a pretty difficult angle. Seeing this, I fly upwards, making his maneuver pointless. The opponent doesn't exit in a straight line, which is his mistake. We finish our loop and keep up our speed while opening fire. Due to our lower speed and correct trajectory, we ended up in a better position for an attack. German planes gather speed quite well while descending, and if they wait for the right moment, they're able to evade battles. But the weather turned out to be on our side. The battle took place at lower altitudes, which prevented the Luftwaffe from showing its true capabilities. USSR. Soviet aircraft may be the hardest opponents for our Cobra. In the fight for altitude at the beginning of the battle, the Soviet fighters can get a little higher than our King Cobra. In such cases, you have to group up, or if you're certain of your skills, fly off to the side with a slight descent, tricking your careless enemies by slowly dropping from the altitude so strategically important for your team. At medium altitudes, the chances of defeating Soviet planes will be better than at low altitudes. So, it's important that at least one of our allies remains higher than the rest. The Soviet side can be separated into the following planes. The Yak-3, the Yak-9T, the LA-5FN, the I-185, and also the LA-7, which will also end up in battles with us from time to time. Soviet planes aren't particularly durable but they have better maneuverability than we do and excellent banking, which not only allows them to veer towards their opponents well, but also to correct their course for an attack. This is why we don't want to get into losing dogfights with Soviet planes on our Cobra at low altitudes. We won't have the altitude we need to leave the battle. But if you find yourself at low altitudes, constantly maintain speed by keeping your maneuvers to a minimum especially horizontal maneuvers, as turning affects your speed significantly. Attack in passing like a bull at a red cape and fly on. But if you see that your opponent is at low speeds, you can perform a loop and take him down as long as there's no one above you. As you can see, with such a simple tactic, we'll always have a good chance for victory. But there are only three things to put a stop to our victory parade a plane appearing unexpectedly above us, a lucky long-distance shot from a Yak-9T or a LA-7. The LA-7 is a special opponent. This plane has a higher rank than we do. It has a 1,850 horsepower engine, and you probably know what that means. It is able to catch up to the Cobra in a straight line. Surviving against such an opponent at low altitudes is difficult. So, when that plane is in the air, be careful about losing altitude to your opponents. Wait for the Soviet pilot to get greedy first and drop down for easy frags, after which you can use boom and zoom tactics with him. Or you can attack from a height, but only if one of your allies is also attacking him. 
The Law 5FN has as powerful an engine as the Law 7, but has better performance at low altitudes. Japan. Japanese planes are easy opponents for our plane in my view. Firstly, we'll be able to gain a significant advantage at the beginning of the battle if the majority of our opponents have to take off from an aircraft carrier. Our army plane will already be in flight. Secondly, the Japanese carrier aviation, especially the Zero, doesn't have powerful engines, which makes our plane very hard to catch. The Zero evades hit-and-run tactics perfectly thanks to its incredible maneuverability. But sooner or later, we'll complete our task and drive the Japanese airplane into the ground or the sea with our flyby attacks. It's far simpler to shoot down the Zero in a pair, attacking one after another. If you find yourself in a situation with a Zero at a significantly higher altitude than you, just fly straight ahead or with a slight descent. But there's another opponent we can't ignore. The Ki-84. This plane is dangerous if only for the fact that it can catch up with us in a straight line. And the strategy we use against the Zero is useless. We have to do the opposite here. We deliberately enter into a low-altitude dogfight, drawing our opponent into a rising spiral. In this situation, we have far greater chances at a successful outcome. If you find yourself far below a Ki-84, and being attacked with boom and zoom tactics, accelerate the plane using a small descent and turn below the attacking opponent. At high speeds, the Ki-84 is forced to stop its descent and its pilot will play it safe. Soon after, he'll lose his former speed and you'll have the opportunity to shoot him down. We may also encounter the Ki-61, but it can be attacked in a similar way as the Zero, attacking at high speed and moving on. There is no use in engaging one in a dogfight. Well, that's all. I hope this was interesting and will help you in air battles on the King Cobra. Please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comments with your ideas and requests. Dmitry Mikhailov or Ezida signing out. See you next time in the War Thunder Sky. Good luck.